Hello everybody, it's Murray Carter from Carter Cutlery. Today I'm going to very quickly show you how we forge an International Pro Series knife fully to shape. I've got a bar of pre-laminated steel here. It's a Gokunan Tetsu mouth steel on the outside with a Hitachi carbon steel on the inside. We're going to cut this uh, bar diagonally across and then I'll forge two International Pro Series knives from it. Uh, when everything's running smoothly and I'm uh, in a good rhythm, I can forge one of these blades between 12 and 13 minutes from start to finish.
So we started with a bar of pre-laminated steel, cut it diagonally like the chalk is on here, and it was two different slightly sized pieces of steel, so it's no surprise that we ended up with two blades that were slightly different in length and size. Uh, it took us roughly 12 to 13 minutes to forge each one of these blades, and one of the reasons it takes that long is because I'm paying very careful attention to the thickness. I want a nice distal taper in the tang from the center junction here back, and then I want a very uh, discernible but subtle distal taper from the blade tang junction all the way towards the tip. And yet, the cutting edge needs to be the same thickness. So from this part of the blade all the way out this way, we're forging and taper. So uh, this is the rough forging. You can see after it was annealed, which is the last thing we did over there in the forging area, uh, the blade comes out and you can see it's got all this uh, kind of blackish grayish scale on it. And uh, we'll sandblast those and then hammer them under the power hammer, a process called cold forging. Here's a blade that's been sandblasted and cold forged and you can see it looks different. Very smooth in the surface and uh, perfectly forged to the final thickness. From there, we cut and grind it out to its uh, uh, final shape, put some holes in there in the tang for to accept the handle, and straighten it and stamp our names on it and grind it to the exact shape we want, and then coat it in clay and quench it in water. And from the quenching process, we grind and polish and try to get that perfect edge geometry in there, uh, keeping in mind that Japanese blades uh, uh, will faithfully uh, air on the side of making the blade thin and really, really sharp versus keeping a whole lot of thickness in there for strength, which tends to be a Western uh, trait. Once we get them all ground and polished, then we're going to select some kind of a hand material and then go through the rigmarole of putting the handle on the blade and finishing it up. That's covered in other videos. So today was the rough forging of an International Pro Series knife. Hope you enjoyed it and uh, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And this is uh, the last few days of 2016, so uh, I'm wishing you and yours great health and prosperity and happiness in the year 2017.